In this episode, we're going to discuss a surprise piece of information that was just dropped on us, uh, an addition that's coming to Splinterlands in the upcoming patch only two days away that nobody had heard about. So if you're currently a Splinterlands player or you're thinking about playing Splinterlands, you're going to want to stay tuned. Hey, all you Splinterheads, welcome back. Bronze Dragon here saying, hey, thanks for dropping by. I do appreciate your time. If you're new here, please leave a like and subscribe. If you've been here for a while, appreciate you. Um, so with that said, um, some big news just dropped. Two days before the patch, it's, it's Sunday afternoon. I just came in from a couple hours working on my truck and um, saw this news drop in the announcement section in Discord, and uh, my jaw dropped. I mean, this is something that is pretty big, and I had not heard it talked about in the town hall or even on Discord at any point. So uh, it dropped in the announcement section today, so I thought I would go ahead and do a short video. So this one's not going to be that long, but I wanted to get the news out. So check this out. So here it is. I cut and pasted it directly out of Discord, blew it up a little bit so it was easier to read. Community upgrade, upcoming league tier advancement chests. Had anybody heard about these? Let me know in the comments if you heard anything about these. This was like an under the radar change addition to the game. So let's look at the announcement and then we'll talk about it. As we approach the end of the season, we want to give you a heads up about an exciting change coming soon. During this Tuesday's maintenance, keep in mind it's Sunday now, uh, window, we will introduce loot chests for league tier advancement. You will receive loot chests only on your first advancement to a tier within the season. So if you fall back and then go back, you're not going to get them a second time. So you can't abuse them that way. Uh, we wanted to share this information in advance so you can plan accordingly and uh, avoid advancing too early next season. Don't want anyone to miss out on these chests. Okay, he so also put in a chart that will tell you exactly what you can can expect when you uh, advance uh, your tiers. Uh, so this will be very similar to getting, um, these chests are gonna be the same ones you buy out of the shop, so that uh, it's just when you advance a tier for the first time, you're gonna get a series of tests uh, of chests. So uh, obviously uh, I've, I was looking at a, a lot of the discussion in Discord and uh, it appears that, uh, you know, the high, this will probably benefit the, the lower to mid tiers more, but it remains to be seen obviously until it gets into play. But uh, I typically uh, play in the diamond to champ range. Uh, I usually end the season in champ three and then I fall back to uh, diamond one and then I get beat back to like diamond two, sometimes three, and then have to work my way back up during the season. As we know at the beginning of the season, it is uh, the competition is stiffer because people are working their way back up. But you can see here that if I finished off in uh, diamond or if I finished off in champ three, fell to diamond one, and then if I went back to champ three, um, I would get 13 minor, 10 major, four ultimate. But what is more likely to happen to me is that I get uh, I get beat back to diamond two, and then, um, then I make it to diamond one again, and then I will get 12 minor, nine major, and three ultimate. Then, if I'm lucky enough, I'll make it into champ three by the end of the season, and I will get another 13 minor, 10 major, and four ultimate. Either way, you can take this. Uh, he did post this uh, chart on uh, in the announcement section on Discord under Splinterlands uh, channel, so you can take a look at that. Now, like I said, uh, this is this is going to be a quickie, straightforward. I think there's a lot of conversation around this. Uh, obviously, those who play in Wild will still have to play the Wild Pass to get these chests. Um, and uh, that would reduce the amount of abuse from bot farms or what have you. Um, and obviously there's the point of uh, should at the end of the season, should I kind of let my account fall back a little bit so that I can be in better position to make more chests uh, when this uh, starts this uh, on patch day, which is Tuesday, which is a day after the season starts, so that's why they announced this. Be very aware, um, take this into account uh, how you want to finish the season, and don't push too fast 
at the beginning of the season, which would be Monday, um, so that you don't blow through those what could be extra free chests for you on Tuesday. So take all this into account. Uh, I'm sure that obviously a lot of people will probably be holding back a little bit so they can go ahead and get those chests. He included it in his message, so why not, right? Um, I'm also sure I, I heard from Voctus and a, a few other people were discussing it in uh, Discord, and they said that, you know, what they're making off of uh, winning and stuff like that, uh, they it may not be worth it for them to hold back. So they may go ahead and continue with their normal play. Either way, we'll see how this affects it, but this is a great addition to the game. This is giving more incentive back into the game, back into playing, and it will generally, it'll help out everybody, but I think that it'll help out the lower to mid-level people a little bit more than the higher-end people who already have complete sets and things like that. So uh, obviously it remains to be seen how this affects everybody, but uh, I think it's a great addition to the game. Uh, let me know in the show uh, comments what you think about this. Otherwise, I hope everyone on your side is happy and healthy. And hey, I'll see you in Splinterlands. Mm -hmm.